for Barbies to look different. You know, like the, the real people in the world? When I look at the line now, one is taller than original Barbie, one is more petite, and one is curvier. I like them because this one looks like me and this one looks like my mom. They're seeing the differences amongst their friends and family being celebrated. We have to let girls know it doesn't matter what shape you come in, that anything is possible. When I grow up, I want to be a uh, teacher if I have time. I like being a scientist. That makes me feel like I can do anything. Oh. This is what our future looks like because this is what the world looks like. Dolls look like everyone. It doesn't I look like there's a long and lengthy and awkward one. So. I can't relate. <laughs> That's so true that it's like important for like little girls to have like Barbies who look like them. Like I had um I used to have like a Hawaiian Barbie and that was like the closest thing I had to like me. Okay, so question time, what was that? Well it was just showing like the evolution of the Barbie, like where I guess where one started and where it is today with like the different like I said, just like the different kinds of um, sizes, shapes, colors, people. And typically when you were younger, what did Barbies look like? She was always tall, blonde, thin, um, you know, perfect makeup, perfect hair, straight hair, and I had curly hair. I remember that really vividly. No, I just think it's pretty cool because like when I was growing up, like just seeing commercials and then even in stores, like there was really only like one kind of Barbie. So why do you think it's important for kids at a young age to understand body positivity and body image in general? We teach girls from like so young to be just so aware of like how their body looks and making their body look attractive, especially to boys. Then you end up with girls at this young age just like wanting to be skinny and tall and blonde. Like I wanted to be super like light skinned and blonde when I was that age. It's important because kids should not be focused on dieting. Eight year old girls should not be worried about how their body looks. They shouldn't be worried about having healthy habits, going out and playing with their friends outside instead of staying in on their phones. So America is known for its obesity. Do you think that this commercial is um, in any way saying that being overweight is acceptable? I don't think that promotes obesity. Um, you know, none of the body, like the Barbie dolls that I saw in the commercial looked particularly heavy, like overweight or obese or unhealthy. They just looked like different girls that you would just see anywhere. I think they're saying it's okay to be fatter and it is okay to be fatter and I don't think you should be ashamed of that. Some people are just genetically made to be a little bigger or like me, I'm a twig <laughs> and it's fine however you look. Now they don't all have to be stick figures like they always are again, they don't, but I think there are just some things that shouldn't be celebrated. It does say that it's okay to be big which it's it's okay but it's it's not a healthy thing, it's not good to be like that for the sake of health and I don't think that should be something that should be encouraged but I can see why people appreciate it in the sense that it allows people to feel more you know it, it expands the the horizons of what society sees as beauty because that is an issue nowadays in, in millennials because of the way we grew up all right so considering America's current cultural climate with um, equal rights for the LGBTQ community and the push forward for Black Lives Matter do you think that this company is doing enough I think they're just kind of appealing to like what's uh, what's wi more widely social socially acceptable now I think they're doing as much as they can as just being a toy for kids they can't change the world but they're doing what they can I don't know. I guess there's like not that much they can do. You still have like this stereotypical like Barbie, and then you have her counterpart as Ken. Her counterpart would never be like a, another woman. I guess. I don't think I don't like see them ever doing that. But that would be cool if they did. Now, why do you think that commercials like these, or me and media in general, why do you think that they target girls more often than males when it comes to body image um, versus looking at both genders equally? Men, men have never really had a body positive movement just because men are expected to be, you know, just tough, just, you know, you don't have to worry about your feelings and stuff like that. It's always been like the way men have been looked at in society. I mean, there are magazine covers where you see like buff guys and there are men that might think that they 
like feel pressured to look like that, but for every one magazine like that for men, there's like 30 for women. In one of my classes, we were like looking at how like the GI Joes have changed, and like back in like the 60s, like they were just pretty like standard, you know, like no muscles or anything, and then compared to now, they're like super muscular. Um, so like that has a lot. I feel like that definitely has a big effect on boys, and it definitely should be tackled. So growing up, did you face any discriminations or bullying um, when it came to being different than I guess the norm of our age back then? I remember. Um, for, you know, I was bullied a lot for being Indian, for like the food I would bring to school. Um, so obviously like, I feel like all kids see that, some of them do it. I don't know, I can't think of one person who has not experienced that as a kid. This girl like transferred into my 7th grade class and then long story short she ended up like moving to Staten Island. Um, and then in high school, like I found out that she was being like bullied within like her school about like family problems and something that happened in the school and she ended up uh, committing suicide um, which seems to be like a reoccurring issue whether it be like bullying or just like people getting on you just because of like I guess your image. I definitely think kids and like teenagers and tweens are more accepting of different body types and different styles. Cause like when we were younger, I feel like there's like a style that you had to have, and if you didn't, then you were weird, you know? Like straighten your hair every day, or like do this with your clothes every day. Interesting that you said weird. Do you think weird has taken on a different meaning yeah, now? Yeah, weird definitely is good now. It makes you different, and different is good.